but we've got Amazon unveiling Vulcan. Can you do that? Can you do the Vulcan? It hurts. Thing? It hurts. I can't. Oh, does it? it okay. Really? Because uh, I, I know it's know the Spock. kind of thing that some people can and can't do. But uh, well, you can just do it fluidly. Do no, I have to? I have to kind of pry them apart with a but yeah. a tool, a vice. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, uh, Amazon has been practicing, and they are bringing that uh, that to their warehouses in the form of robots with a sense of touch. This is what Vulcan is all about. Tactile sensors that enable it to handle 75% of the items in Amazon's warehouse. It can pick. It can stow. does all of this with human-like dexterity. And as many people will be quick to point out, further reduces the need for human workers uh, to perform those tasks. Yeah, and this is always a, a yin yang thing where yeah. where uh, the jobs are awful, but we're going to have fewer awful jobs. You know, it's yeah. it's, it's, right. it's it's how do you judge that? Uh, but I think this was inevitable, and it's not just for retail. This is certainly, I think, for um, I, I can imagine more flexible factories where you could pick mm-hmm. up screws of different size and know what they what what position they're in and then get them in you know that kind of stuff uh mm-hmm. to pick up this product to be able to to know what's fragile and pick it up in a lighter way oh these are eggs i'm shipping right now right um yes yeah uh, be very uh, fragile. so i i think this is a necessary step in robotics it's a, mm-hmm. and, and again as we talk about often it's a it's an interaction with the world mm-hmm. with the real world Right, it has to learn that you don't be mean to the egg; it it, it cracks. Yeah, if you're if you're too tight, if you're too strong with the egg, you're gonna you know uh, squish it. Um, yeah, this again, you know, to mention Jan Lacun once more. He talked all about this, the world model, and how right. necessary that is for artificial intelligence. Um, if if AI is ever going to get to the point to where it has human like awareness of all things. You know the ever elusive AGI or whatever you want to call it, um, then it needs it needs sensors like this. It needs some sort of sensory capability that mimics what humans do have, and not just the ability to read words and spit things out and 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 that sort of stuff. It also needs to be able to interact with the world, and this is at least one step closer to that for the world of robotics. And I doubt that Amazon is the first to do this sort of thing. I honestly, I don't know. Robotics isn't my thing, but I have to imagine other companies have been working on this. And yeah. You think of, of many, many, many applications. Uh, you know, I had my, uh, uh, two of my spare parts taken out, my prostate and my appendix with mm-hmm. arthroscopic, uh, and robotic surgery. And, you know, I, 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 when I walked into the operating room for the prostate, you look at this big, this big robot. You want to just be nice to me. Salute. But you realize that the doctor is over there on a ah. screen, right? And yeah. cannot have any sense of touch. Mm. There's no feedback to the doctor. So you can imagine the utility of these kinds of systems that are doing something robotic, being able to give uh, not just haptic feedback in the sense of here's a buzz, here's a, you know, a buzz is so it knows you did something, but a sense of soft or hard, mm-hmm. um, a sense of that touch. Uh, I think um, would be useful, or or bomb robots or any of this kind of stuff. Right. Um, so, yeah, I think it's an important uh, step forward, and I'm kind of surprised that we haven't heard more about this. I think you're right, Jason. A lot of people have surely have been working on this. One hundred percent. Maybe there's more advances than we know because we don't keep up on all the scientific papers about this. But uh, it is interesting. Yeah. Um... For sure it is. And, you know, a company like Amazon stands to, to benefit a lot from this sort of thing because of the reliance upon, you know, it, the, the need to store and sift and pull all of the items and everything that they're doing to feed their business. It seems like the, you know, the kind of company that would be investing a lot of, a lot of their attention and their resources into this sort of thing and to benefit from it. Mm-hmm.